In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. I just want to give you an announcement. That Jesus Christ is the Lord. Yes, Christo Yemukama. My names are Pastor Martin Mbala. Amanya Gego, Pastor Martin. From Juba, South Sudan. Okuva e Juba, Maserengataka Sudan. I'm happy to be here. Nimu sanyi funyoku ba wano. And I count it all joy. For our father is not only your father. So don't try to personalize him. I need. I If my brother or my sister who is left at home does not take care of our father. Then the prodigal son will come. And when the prodigal son comes, don't be envious. So being a father does not mean that I don't exist. We are many out there, so don't personalize him. He's our own father. And I'm happy to be home. So thank you for being there. And uh, we will see you again in the evening. May God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. You people are highly blessed. You are highly favored. You are seated under the anointing. Every day you come to the well to drink. For us, we had to board a flight to come. But you who are here. I am jealous of you. You are highly blessed and highly blessed. May God bless you. Amen. So that's what's going to happen. So within one and a half hour, service begins. And you're going to be anointed by the power of God. I mean, all these men of God are going to touch you in such a special way. This was only organized by God. You know, sometimes we plan. We, 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 we set conferences. Only this. And I want to thank God for the relationship we have with the state of Israel. Because... Not so many churches will host the ambassador of Israel. Every time he comes, he pays a courtesy call. But this one was more than that. When we were in Nairobi, we sat for length of time. He came to the hotel where I was staying. The whole of the breakfast until lunch, we discussing. And then he came to the meeting uh, uh, where we invited him with Pastor Benny. But um, we discussed that we would have a meeting like this. And, um, and I'm grateful that the Lord has enabled Zambia to be here and um, Zimbabwe, South Sudan, uh, Kenya was supposed to come, but uh, uh, Apostle Subi is involved in, uh, in Haiti. We are now dealing with the Haiti issues. And, um, and I will let you know about it later on. Uh, Burundi couldn't make it. Malawi had some issue. But, but the issue is this. That Africa must embrace Israel. And support Israel. And as Israel is also supporting Africa. In areas of 
where they have got a breakthrough, we don't have to look for breakthrough. Our brothers have it. So why don't we use it? And out of our discussion today, something good is coming to you. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Something good is coming to you. So, that's what God does. And uh, remember when I told you when you were working on the, uh, the launch and putting things together that the time is coming whereby regional meetings are needed where we, we are hosting things and, and the Lord is so prophetic. The Lord is so prophetic. He's preparing you for global impact. For global impact. But get ready. Even those of you watching by television, maybe you, 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 you jumped in to see what's going on. Uh, I, I, I left a video which was in the US. The, the, the father and the mother were testifying about their little girl who could not walk. You know, we are going to Berlin. I, I hope, doctor, you are coming with me. I hope, uh, doctor, you are coming with me. You are coming with me to Berlin. And uh, we are going to take the gospel now to Europe. The first are becoming last and the last are becoming first. So we are going to take the gospel to Europe. Beginning this July. Somebody say amen. We're going to take the gospel there. But uh, it's, it's a responsibility that God is giving us. And he said, Europe is in trouble. So that parent you saw before we came on the air, their daughter was not walking. That little girl had become crippled. And uh, we have the video. She was brought into the service. I was preaching between two services. And uh, I prayed for the girl in the office. And God healed her instantaneously. She started walking. That girl now rides horses. To ride, to ride horses, you must have strong legs. You must have strong back. And that is the father and the mother. They were testifying. We have the video later on when she's on a horse. And when I was praying for her in the office. Totally crippled. Bazungu don't usually, you know, white people, we call them Bazungu. You call them Bazungu there in Zimbabwe? Varungu. Eh? Varungu. So in, in, in Kosa, they call them Varungu. Kosa, Baita Varunga, Bazungu. Yours, you call it what? In Zambia, you call them Bazungu. Ah. Zambia, they call them Bazungu. Zambia, Baita Bazungu. You call them Bazungu here. Baita Bazungu. These are called them Varungu. Baita Varungu. In South Sudan, what do you call them? Kawaja. Ah. Those Kawajas. Huh? <laughs> they, 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 they don't believe unless they see a miracle. So that's what we are taking to South, I mean, the, to, to Berlin. Germany. They will see the power of God and they will become believers. In Jesus name. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. God is good. So do whatever you need to do. Just within an hour, the service begins. These are prophets. These are men of God. God uses them. Tonight is your night. Today is your day. Lift your hands say, Father, my life will never be the same again. God of Israel, you are my God. Bless me today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We'll see you later.
There is more, Lord. Today I had that. Brother Fernando told me about his daughter. That girl was... Could you come up here, please? His daughter was crippled. She's now riding horses. And not just riding them, she's jumping horses. She's jumping this level. Yes. Just in a minute, just give a testimony. Someone needs it. Who is that one? That's my wife. And she... Wa- wife, wife, your husband is calling you. <laughs> Allison went through uh, all of the medical appointments I went through, maybe 75% of them, so I'd prefer that you... Okay. All right. Um, Yes, so our daughter Shiloh was born uh, crippled. She was told, well, we were told that she was never going to be able to walk without um, at least having some sort of um, crutches, braces, walkers, all different kinds of things, and we just didn't receive that. So uh, we continued in faith. We came here when she was a year old, actually, and started. She's the daughter of this house. And uh, she was prayed for continuously. And we brought her to see uh, Pastor Robert Kayanja, who ended up laying hands on her and casting a uh, uh, demon of crippledness off of her and prayed for her. And about a week later, um, she stood up and she started walking, and she hasn't stopped since. <laughs> yeah. So, and we had taken her when, when she was two years old, she started riding horses for physical therapy to help her um, with her balance and her, and her posture, just all, all of the strength. Um, and God has just supernaturally accelerated her. She's 11 years old now, and now she rides competitively, and she's, she's jumping, she's got her own horse. It's just, it's been amazing, and it's all glory to God. Yeah. So whoever is watching, wherever you are, God restores. This is what I call restoration. God can restore whatever the devil has stolen from you. And I know all of us have got loved ones, little ones, people, wherever they are, they're struggling in life. And they believe. They believe. It's not because they don't have faith. But there is that part the Holy Spirit cannot come on until you are restored. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, people of God, when God say, I'm going to heal you, I'm going to bless you, I'm going to do this, he sends the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is a multiplier. He doesn't add to you. Have you ever realized the role of the Holy Spirit, the blood? the blood subtracts from you. The role of the blood of Jesus is to subtract sin, subtract devil, subtract religion, subtract everything from you. The role of the word is to add to you. That's why Apostle may the grace and peace be multiplied to you because grace and peace together is the Holy Spirit. So every time you hear the word, something is added to you. But child of God, when you are of my age, and every year you are adding one year, and one year, and when am I going to reach over there? I need some things to be multiplied. Amen. I need your business to multiply. Your finances must multiply. If every year you, even if you receive $10,000 added to you a year, it will take you a hundred years to become a millionaire. At my age, I'll have no teeth to enjoy it. <laughs> so that's why I want God to multiply the seeds that I sow. I want him to multiply the seed that I sow now. Oh, Lord, may the Lord multiply you in Jesus' name. Somebody here. Yes, sir. You, you, you. 
that gentleman putting up your hand. Please come. Jesus. Please come. There's a gentleman behind there. I think God is going to restore. The same with him. The Lord is going to restore the use of your limbs. He's going to restore the use of your limbs. He's going to restore it. He's going to restore it. You have the faith. You have the love. You have everything you need to get your miracle. The enemy says you never get one. You believe for years is a liar. God, before he pours that, he must restore something. That's why, you know, sometimes we ask God, use me. He said, no, first get saved. Salvation is to restoration. Is where God restore us back. Please here come, sir. I want us to raise our hands and for this gentleman. And uh, come here, sir. How are you? I'm good. The Lord is going to restore you. Sir? The Lord is going to restore you. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> So, you have to use the earring aid, right? Yes, sir. Can you take it out? Um, sure. I don't know if I'll be able to hear too good, but... I don't know. Ah. That's all. No. Ah. Souvenir. Souvenir, yeah. You're getting a souvenir today. How much do you pay for this? Oh, uh, that, that's about $500. How much? $500. $500? Mm -hmm. Can you hold this for me? Don't sell it. They come in pair. They come in pair. Mm -hmm. Put this finger in this ear. Child of God, he said, I will restore. He will restore his hearing, his limbs. He will restore his joy. The Bible said, restore unto me the joy of salvation. Lord, I rebuke the demon of paralysis. I rebuke the demon of deafness. Leave this man alone. Father, restore unto him your joy. Your joy, Lord. Let him hear a pin drop. Let him use his hands. Hands who are made to walk, to work, to worship you. Our hands who are made to worship you. I command life to come back in his arms. This entire sight, you power of the stroke, leave in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I rebuke the power of paralysis to leave this man. Hands were made to worship you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, he will lift his hands and worship you. He will walk and dance and praise you. I give you praise, Jesus. Lord, begin the work of restoration. In Jesus' mighty name, I give you praise. I give you praise. I rebuke the spirit of paralysis. I rebuke the spirit of the stroke. In Jesus' marvelous name. Lord, I decree and declare. Today is his day of restoration. Restore whatever the canker worms have eaten. In Jesus' marvelous name. Lord, I command his legs and his arms to gain strength in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I give you praise, Jesus. 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 Lord, restore. Restore. 
restore Lord in Jesus mighty name I give you praise Jesus 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 restoration has begun restoration has begun I feel it I feel I feel it somebody clap your hands to Jesus restoration has begun I command your ear to hear even a pin drop in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen where are the catchers easy easy please just pick him up give you praise Jesus hello hello how are you how are you what's your name what's your name This is your souvenir. Oh, you want that? that is your souvenir. The Lord has begun restoring you. Next time I come here, you'll be driving me around. The same with this man. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Praise be to God. Somebody here. I don't know what they have diagnosed you. You have a problem with your chest. You've got a problem with your chest. Something is wrong. Come here, please. What's happening, mom? She has a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and AFib. She has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and AFib. And she's had cancer twice that's in work and your heart does not work yeah, they told her uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a narrowing where the blood comes in so her heart is dying in pieces Put this for me. I give you praise Jesus I give you praise Jesus say Jesus heal me yeah. set me free In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. What's happening with you? I have a heart condition recently. I just got out of the hospital and um, with treatment, possibly um, a nine, nine years life expectancy. They told you you have nine years? Nine years life expectancy with treatment. That's a lie. They said. Your heart, they give it nine years. But I was blind. I had a stroke at 19. I was blind, deaf, and dumb, and God healed me. I know God to be a healer. I know God to be a healer. He restored me when I was 19. I'm 52. I know him to be a healer. He's faithful. Holy Spirit, restore, restore, pick up, easy, pick up. That heaviness, that pain in your chest is no more. Touch 
Holy Spirit, I give you praise. <laughs> Lord, look at me. These next nine years are going to be the years of greatness. And you will live longer than nine years. But these years are going to be years of supernatural provision, miracles, signs and wonders, serving God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes. on kidney dialysis and um, the, the pain in the chest right now is because um, the access kind of narrows down because it's swelling on his neck and a lot of things that are off. Sir, say Jesus. Jesus. Restore. Restore. Whatever the devil has taken away. Whatever the devil has taken away. In Jesus. In Jesus. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Can you put back Joel chapter 2 please? Verse 25. These locusts come in four phases, pastor. There is a crawling locust, a consuming locust, a chewing locust, and swarming locust. So there are certain spirits that the enemy brings to you, they just swarm around you. You never have a breakthrough. You finish this problem, another one come. You finish this one, another one come. Then they are the one who come and chew up whatever you build. Whatever you gain, they chew it up. These are just consuming. You never make a breakthrough. Whatever you do, they consume what you have. Consume your time. Consume your everything. So the summons, this is the devil, but it just attacks you at different levels. Lift your hand. If you sense that the enemy has been attacking you on any of those levels, say this word. Say, Lord, Restore to me, Lord. Restore to me whatever the enemy has crawled on, consumed, chewed up. Lord, swarming around me, no more, no more. I will never be followed up by these locusts anymore. I am restored. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah.